Hi, welcome back to the series of Business Studies Chapter 6, Staffing. In this video, we are learning about method of training. By the way, this is OBC online business class. If you still not subscribed, consider it. Methods of training. There are various methods of training. These trainings are broadly grouped into two groups. That is on the job and other one is off the job method of training. Then what is on the job method of training? On the job method means it's a form of training provided at a workplace while you are actually working. That is on the job method of training. Then what is off the job? It is exactly opposite to the on the job method of training. That is this method of training is given away from the workplace. That means you are just away from the actual workplace. You're just learning from there and you will apply that later in your workplace. So that's a difference between on the job method and off the job method. On the job method. In on the job method, we'll go through various methods of training one by one. First one is apprenticeship training. In apprenticeship training, they usually put trainee under the guidance of master worker. These kind of training is designed to acquire higher level of knowledge. And moreover, those people seeking to enter a skilled job to become a plumber, electrician or any are often required to undergo these kind of apprenticeship. These apprentice spends a minimum amount of time to practice and they will get experience from the guidance or trainer. These are all called apprenticeship program. Moving on to the next method that is coaching. In this method, supervisor guide and instruct the trainee. Usually coach usually agree to set a goal and suggest how to achieve these goals and periodically they will review those goals to check whether they are doing it correct or wrong and they also suggest to change a lack of performance from the train. These trainee work directly with a senior manager and the manager take full responsibility of the trainee coach. Classically, these trainee being trying to replace the senior manager and relieve from them some of his work. Moving on to the next method that is internship training. Internship training is like a practical knowledge while you are actually working. That means usually education institution, a business corporate firm will select a candidate. They will give a regular training for those candidates for some particular time to learn a practical skill, practical knowledge. Moving on to the next method that is job rotation. This kind of training involves shifting employees from one department to other department or one job to other job. This helps the trainee to gain broad knowledge and understanding of all part of a business that helps to know the organization whole function. Job rotation allows the trainee to interact with the more employees thus helping the future cooperation among the departments. When employees are trained by this method, the organization find easy to promote, to transfer, to replace employees. We are moving on to off-job method of training. In off-job method of training, we will go through various methods one by one as usual. The first one, classroom lecture or conference. This method is well suitable to convey specified information, rules, procedures, method. The use of audio, visual or demonstration can also make formal classroom presentation making interesting and it helps to increase the retention and clarifies more difficult points. Moving on to the next method that is film. This method is very interesting because this can provide information and clearly demonstrate skills that are not easily represented by any other tech. This method is very effective when it is using combination with conference discussion. Moving on to the next method that is case study. This is a very practical way of training because it is taken from actual experience of organization. Case study describes the real problem that manager have faced. From this study, trainees study the case to identify a problem, analyze cause, develop alternative solution. That's why this is a practical way of training. Then moving on to the next method that is computer modeling. If you ever visited a Maruti driving school, probably you all saw a virtual car. Basically, this reduces the risk of accident. Right, exactly. That is the main intention about a virtual car lesson. The same thing which applies here in computer modeling. It basically stimulates the work environment by programming a computer to replicate the realities. It helps to learn without the risk or higher cost that would be incurred if your mistake were made in real life. Moving on to the next method of training that is vestibule training. In this method, employee learn the job on equipment they are using in organization. 
but this training is conducted away from actual workplace that's a important thing but actually same material files and equipments are given to them to replicate the real environment of organization this is usually done when employees are required to handle sophisticated machineries and equipments moving on to the next method programmed instruction this method combines a pre-arranged and purposed acquisition of some specified skills or general knowledge in this method information is broken into units these units are arranged in logical and sequential orders information is packed into a logical and sequential learning package like from simple to complex like from one stage to 10 stage like that it's been divided into a small small unit at the very last of this training program trainees are given some kind of test like answering questions or like fill in the blanks to verify that the amount of learning these are all about a method of training congratulations you just finished with chapter 6 staffing if you like this video hit like share with your friends as always see you in the next series bye